everybody, it's your boy Dave from How Do I. Um, how's everybody doing today? Um, before we even get started, today I wanted to talk a little bit about Sawzall blades. Um, some of you are very familiar with what a Sawzall is. They're very popular today in construction. But one thing that never really gets talked about a lot are the different types of blades and the purposes for each one. So before we even get started, if you could please like this video, just reach down and hit that little thing, uh, the little thumbs up button, that helps me out, helps me continue to keep bringing you guys, I'm hoping, good content. Make sure you comment on this video, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe. If you're getting any value out of these videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I would love it. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys. So let me start with the Sawzall. Give me a moment. <clears throat> So most of you, I'm assuming, know what a Sawzall is. So a Sawzall is a reciprocating saw blade. And actually, let me correct myself. Sawzall is actually a brand um, of reciprocating saw. I just happen to call all of them Sawzall because they do saw, saw all. <laughs> I mean, you could literally cut a house in half with this particular tool. And these are... They come corded or cordless. The majority of them get used in cordless uh, situations because it allows you to move around and more freely. And the advantage to using the cordless ones is you have an option of the thicker battery, which gives you a lot more lasting power, or you have the option of the thinner battery, which is this one right here. It's about half the size. <clears throat> and, and using this thing, if you're, if you're cutting a lot, you're going to burn this thing out fast and you're going to have to put it back on the charger. But the other one actually <clears throat> gives you a, a pretty good amount of run time. <clears throat> so what I want to talk about are the different types of blades that you can buy for your Sawzall. So if you go into any box store, um, what you're going to find are blades that are wrapped individually they come in packs of two or three or you may find a value pack like this which typically has your all-purpose blades your metal blades <clears throat> your heavy timber blades um, it just depends on what it is i tend to buy this one because it gives me a lot of options or a lot of bang for my buck so to speak so if you're in the store and you're looking like i said there's different brands I recently ran into a salesman at a local Walmart and they were pushing this brand and once they broke everything down and explained to me what Hart was, I can't remember all the details, but apparently they used to be another company and they were bought out by this company that put their name on it, but the blades are high quality. They're just as, com they compare to the DeWalt blades and all the other top blade brands that are out there. <clears throat> but now I just want to uh, go a little, bit, a little bit into, and again, Hart is not paying me to endorse their product. Like I said, I uh, was just impressed. They had a couple of representatives in the store, and we got to talking, and then they started breaking down the benefits between the different saws. And when I looked at the other ones, you could tell there's, no really, there's really no big difference. Now, you can pay more, and I'm sure there are blades that are probably a little more durable, a lot more longer lasting, but um, these have been good for me. <clears throat> so if you look at this blade here, this is for my pruning. Now, if you look at the teeth on this thing, you can see those things will cut your arm off. These are made for tree branches. Um, you could probably even use it to cut through some pretty thick wood. I actually use it. If you look at it, you can see the wear and tear on it. What I was doing was I was digging around an area where I had made like a little island because I wanted to dig down and put a mulch bed. But the problem was there were two trees on both ends of the mulch bed. So where I was trying to dig around the mulch bed, I kept hitting roots for the trees. So I couldn't go but maybe an inch deep. And I wanted the trench around the mulch bed to be about four inches deep. So what I had to do, and I hated doing it, was I had to cut through those roots. And this thing worked like a charm. I mean, it was going in and out of the dirt. As you can see how filthy it is. 
So again, this is your pruning blade. So thinking about whatever it is, the project it is that you're trying to do, this thing, um, this is the blade you're looking for if you're looking to maybe cut off a tree branch, maybe try to cut down a small tree stump. Yeah, I believe it will actually cut through. Um, actually, I know it will because it did these, these uh, roots that I was cutting through, which were probably about four or five inches thick. So again, just one option for using the pruning blade. Now, this blade, which I haven't used yet, if you look at the teeth on it, the way it's made, it almost looks like it's a combination metal slash wood blade. So if you look at the name on it, this is considered a all-purpose blade. So again, it seems like it's pretty common sense. So for those of you that know, just ignore it. But for those of you that don't know and are getting into doing things around the house. An all-purpose blade is pretty much what it says. It's all-purpose. It'll cut through this right here. It'll cut through plastic. It'll cut through metal. Um, so it's just another option on top of your pruning blade. And again, like I said before, spend the money, get the kit that gives you more blades. This kit actually came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It came with 12 blades. That's a lot of blades. And I'm going to tell you now, depending on how much you're cutting, you can wear one of these down pretty fast, and you're going to wish you had extra blades. So get the pack if you can get it. So next we're going to talk about the metal cutting blade. Now, just a few moments ago, I was doing some work on my tractor, and I had to cut something back on my tractor because I have a lever that I push back and forth that causes my hydraulic fluid to flow left and right. And what was going on was I kept hitting with my legs. So what I did was I cut off about four inches. This thing cut right through solid lead. I believe it was lead, it looked like lead. Probably wasn't, but I'm telling you. Um, so in a situation like that, when you're cutting through some metal that's pretty thick, you wanna use the metal cutting blade. You probably could use the all-purpose blade, but I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend using the metal blade if you're going through a reasonably thick piece of metal. This kit also comes with a, another all-purpose blade, which is smaller in nature. So what you actually get with this kit is you get one, two, three, three all-purpose blades. You get two smaller all-purpose blades. Actually, I was correct. Three smaller all-purpose blades. You get one, two. No, I stand corrected again. Four all-purpose blades. Two metal cutting blades. Two of your pruning blades and you get a wood cutting blade. Now, this one is made specifically for wood cutting, but I believe you can clearly use the uh, all-purpose blade. And believe it or not, it would take a little bit longer, but I've even used the metal blade to cut some small pieces of wood. Because like I said, that Sawzall has a lot of power, but you want to use the blades for what they're meant to be used for. So I'm hoping that this video was a little bit helpful for those of you, especially you novices out there that really don't have a lot of experience with power hand tools and you just want to have a little bit more information as far as what type of blade should I use, what type of blade should I buy, which is the best value. And if you want, I can link in the description section these heart blades that I like. Um, again, they're not paying me to, to tell you that. It's just I just happen to like them. And if I come across something that's good, I want to share that value with you guys. So again, please be sure to do all that youtube -y stuff like liking this video, sharing this video, commenting on this video, and most importantly, subscribing to the video. And again, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.